Today's revelations about the Podesta group provide further reason to believe that ties between pro-Russian interests and Hillary Clinton deserve a second look. Republican Congressman Dana Rohrbach represents California. He said he spent months trying to get a House hearing on Russia, Manafort, and the Clintons, all without success. Congressman Dana Rohrbacher joins us tonight. Congressman, uh, thanks for coming out. We just spoke to one of your colleagues, also from the California delegation, uh, Eric Swalwell, yeah. uh, nice guy, about the connection between the Congress and Paul Manafort. Um, I think you met with Paul Manafort, so a lot of people met with Paul Manafort. Well, why, listen, I've known, I've known Paul Manafort for 40 years. But why uh, shouldn't all there, members there just close who, that? Well, I, I, I don't know exactly how much... Uh, relationship he had. He was a major lobbyist, as you have lobbyists in the Democratic side and the Republican side. Right. But what's important right now at this moment is that Paul Manafort has not been charged with something that he did during the Trump campaign. What right. we were told was this uh, special prosecutor is supposed to look at what was going on where Trump supposedly colluded with the Russians and the stealing of the Democratic National Committee emails exemplified that theft. Well, Paul Manafort has been charged with basically tax evasion and money laundering for something that happened way before the election. He had nothing to do with Trump before that. Now, if we're going to do that, why aren't we looking into Hillary where it's not, I mean, I think Paul Manafort was supposed to have uh, 18 million dollars he's supposed to have some way evaded taxes on well what about Hillary who got 150 million dollars for the Clinton Foundation and Bill Clinton who got five hundred thousand dollars in his pocket by these very same Russian oligarchs and guess who was supposed to investigate that Mr. Mueller himself he was the director of the FBI and, and, and let me just say this Tucker I uh, uh, I had a witness that uh, was a uh, basically uh, a secret witness. Uh, he was an, an informer to the FBI. They had an operation going there to watching what was going on with the Clintons and these Russian oligarchs. And he was placed under a gag order. Mueller kept him under a gag order all this time, although no charges were ever filed against the Clintons. That, that gag order, we finally got it released a couple right. days ago. And uh, look, when people look back, what, who is uh, who's being corrupted? Okay, no corruption is good. I mean, that's, that's as simple as that. But having uh, uh, these people claim, you, you, you realize now, they never talk about the emails that were being hijacked uh, by the Russians from the DNC, because now we know that the Russians didn't do it. And so they've dropped that. Now they got ta Paul Manafort right. on something he did way before the election. Now the American people have to understand they're being their attention is being diverted from the wrongdoing of the Clintons and this power grab of trying to prevent President Trump from assuming the powers that he received from the voters in the last election by disrupting that with these phony charges of collusion with the Russians. Well, a lot of people are making charges about things they themselves have done. I think Freud had a term for that. I can't, transference maybe, something like that. Anyway, Congressman, thank you. I appreciate it. God bless. Thank you, Tucker.